Hello and welcome back to the channel, and today we'll be revealing something quite interesting between Kanye West and Taylor Swift that goes back to 2016 when Kanye West's The Life of Pablo album dropped from the song Famous where Kanye West had some bars reserved for Taylor Swift that went viral to say the least because of the lyrics and in 2020 the full phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift has now leaked to show the full picture of what happened between the two artists. At the latter part of the video we'll be focusing on the latest record for Eminem's Cotton Core album so stick around for that one and before we get started, my last video was about the winner of Eminem's Godzilla challenge and on that one I explained the criteria Eminem used to select the winner because many fans were disappointed with Eminem's choice. So if you missed that video, check it out now at the link that pops up. Hit the subscribe button for more content like this and also hit the like button to support us. So on Famous, Kanye West claimed that he made Taylor Swift famous and when Taylor Swift wasn't happy about the words Kanye used to describe her on the song, a clip of Kanye West asking for permission from Taylor Swift was released which painted her in a negative light for trying to cry foul but now a full version of the conversation has been leaked and it changes the tone a bit. I'm not about to play the entire clip but here are some bits. And the, the, the original way that I thought about it is the best way, but it's the most controversial way. So it's, it's, it's gonna go Eminem a little bit, so can you brace yourself for a second? Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> uh, it's a, wait a second, you sound sad. Well, is it gonna be mean? No, I don't think it's mean. Okay, then, what, then let me hear it. Okay, it says, um, okay. So it says, to all my South Side that know me best, I feel like Taylor Swift might owe me sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, this is the thing where I'm calling you because you've got an army. You own a country of mother two billion people, basically, that if you felt that it's funny and cool and like hip hop and felt like you know, just the college dropout and the artists like Ye that you love, then I think that people would be like way into it. And that's why I think it's super genius to to have you be the one that says, oh, I like this song a lot. Like, yeah, whatever, you know, this is cool. Whatever, it's like. I mean, yeah. I need to think about it because I just need to like, you know, you hear something for the first time and you just need to think about it. Yeah. Um, because it is absolutely crazy. I'm glad it's not mean though. It doesn't feel mean. Um, but like, oh my god, the build up you gave it, I thought it was gonna be like that stupid dumb bitch. Like, but it's not. Um, no. Now there's more to it, I'll leave a link to the full video, 25 minutes long, that you can find at the link in the description of this video. But Kanye West omitted the additional lyrics of I made that B famous, and on the call she never agreed to be called a capital B. Now word on social media has shifted. This went viral, so in other news, the entire phone call between Kanye West and Taylor Swift leaked, turns out she was telling the truth the whole time, and he's the snake instead of her. Now I find this quite ironic because he attempted to Eminem Taylor Swift but I don't believe that Eminem and his entire team call up everyone that Eminem is about to diss and tell them beforehand that he's about to drop a bomb on him and the problem with this is that the full conversation has now lived which paints Kanye as the snake and Taylor remains extra sensitive. So rather than just doing it straight up the Eminem way, he asked for permission and in the end the result is the same. This is an epic fail on all fronts for Kanye West and I won't lie, I really like the song Famous, I still enjoy it but Kanye West pretty much asked permission for what's pretty much a love tap by Eminem standards. Next up on Curtain Call is that the album made UK chart history recently as Eminem became the first rapper to have an album top 400 weeks on the UK albums chart, something that Eminem already achieved in the United States and now Eminem was also topped 400 weeks in the UK. According to the report, only 11 albums in the history of the charts have spent 400 weeks or more in the top 100. Another fun fact about Curtain Call in the UK is that since January of 2017, the album album has not left the top 100 in the country and this is even a better performance than Quote & Call since 2017 in the United States. 
actual sales numbers in the UK are now at 2.3 million copies sold and 400,000 of those are from streaming equivalent units. Now 2.3 million in the UK is the equivalent of 7 times platinum and the album is just 100,000 away from hitting 8 times platinum in the country and Eminem is also on the verge of breaking the all time top 10 record for longevity on the charts in the UK and Court and Call in the US for instance is about to become the first hip hop album to cross 500 weeks on the chart and according to data from chart masters Eminem's Court and Call album remains the last compilation album to sell over 10 million copies globally in fact, UK and US sales alone already places the album well over 10 million copies sold and it's likely Eminem's next diamond album in the United States. So what do you guys think of Kanye's call? Was it a good decision to ask for permission to Eminem Taylor Swift while omitting some details or is Taylor too sensitive? Also leave your thoughts on Eminem's court and call historic feat in the UK below in the comment section. Like and subscribe if you haven't and see you on the next one.